Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And a viewer, or, well, he must be a subscriber because he watches, I think, every one of my videos, had a suggestion and it made a lot of sense. He noticed that I converted my 3Ds into bitmap and after I'm done with them. And he suggested turn every, into, when you make the first piece, turn it into a bitmap. And then before you uh, make multiples of them, and because it's bogging down my computer. So if you're having that problem, if you'll watch, I'm going to click right now and the pick tool picked it. I'm going to pick right now and two seconds later, it picks it. It's because there's so much there. Same thing with moving it. Let's move it three inches. I'm going to click on that one and move it three inches. It moves. I'm going to pick, I'm having to wait for the pick tool even to pick it. I'm going to click and it moves two seconds later. So if you're starting to do this, and if I hope you understand what I'm saying about before I, so normally I would turn it into a, let's go to, let's break all these apart. This is not a, this is a, every individual piece is a bitmap, and I haven't turned this one into a bitmap yet. Now, the only difference I really saw is that when I turned it into a bitmap, it changed the size just minutely. So all you have to do is just change it back to two by two or whatever size you want. And then you can very easily move it around. If we set our nudge factor on one inch, it just acts so much faster, control D, make a duplicate. And it does that that fast. Now, the reason I turn them into a bitmap is one, your laser might not engrave them all. And two, it fuzzies it up a little bit. And I think you get a little bit better 3D engraving. Let's look at this one a little closer. So this is just, well, this is already a bitmap. Uh, let's get one that's not a, not a bitmap. Let's click this one, go to object, group and ungroup all, and let's click. See, it's, it's messing with the computer right now. As a matter of fact, it's even taking the bitmap apart. So I can't really show you that unless I create a new one. We've got a, well, there we go. We got it. So this is not a bitmap. This is a group of contour. I use the contour docker. It is, well, I'm not even selecting it at all. It's two by two. That's just, I think that's just an imaginary line. So it's two inches by two inches. It's not a very good example with that line. But let's go ahead and convert it to a bitmap. And you can just convert it. Now watch our measurement. It's 2.007 by 2.1. Now you can fix that so you can nudge it. But it, what it did, it blurred it up. It put a blur on it, which normally in the laser engravers is a bad thing. But in 3D engraving, it kind of puts a soft edge on it. And let's tell you what, let's back up here and look at it before the bitmap. Tell you what, I need to probably group it together. There we go. That'll get rid of that line. So it's, it's 667 objects. That's why it's having trouble to nudge it around. Now, individually, it's not so bad, but when you multiply that by 20 or 30, it creates havoc. So watch the time or watch the mount, go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap grayscale. And all you have to do with your ratio unlocked is just change it back to two inches. That way you can still nudge it. And, and by that, I mean, when you're placing this odd shape item, hit a P, one down and one arrow key down, one arrow key to the right. And it'll place it exactly where it needs to be. So I thank that viewer for kind of tipping me off on that. And I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for